Hey everyone, welcome back and happy Friday. All right guys, well we're getting into the weekend, but before we get into the weekend, you know that the drama is going to carry over. So we're about to talk about the Real Housewives of New Jersey and also this new investigation that a law firm is announcing into Louis Ruelas' company. A lot of fans are saying that this seems very Jin Shaw, which seems like a lot of problems coming towards Louis. And I just don't know what to, I just wish on behalf of Teresa Judice and her family, she would have gotten the prenup. But I'm not a part of the Judice family. On top of that, Melissa Gorga is speaking out against the rumors of her exiting the Real Housewives of New Jersey. She's actually speaking on them. She's not alluding to anything. And that's pretty wild in itself. We're going to get into it. So before we do, do all the YouTube stuff, smash the like button, get subscribed. Let's jump right in. It's time. For all your binge-worthy pop culture news, welcome to Up and Adam. Oh, hey. Welcome back. Are you guys back to talk about Louis Ruelas' company, D Digital Media Solutions, who is under investigation by a law firm? So are we. Hold on. Thank you to Reality Blurb. Months after Real Housewives of New Jersey cast member Margaret Josephs admitted to being on the fence about what Teresa Judice's husband actually does for work, which Melissa Gorga seemed to be on the same page with, fans are wondering if Louis could be the next Jin Shaw. Um, can I just tell you, as of right now, where she's standing, that is definitely not a compliment. That's actually terrifying, and it's one of the many reasons that fans friends, family, and even her own boss, Andy Cohen, they were all pushing her to get a prenup. Get the prenup, girl. Uh, that's not what happened. Obviously, we know that. While appearing on Jeff Lewis's Sirius XM radio show, Jeff Lewis Live, at the end of last year, Margaret was asked about her castmate's career. She said, I'm on the fence. You know what? I know his company had, um, I'm not sure because I know his company had went public and he was sitting on the board of his company. But then last year, he said he stopped working at his company. Margaret's husband, Joe Benigno, also weighed in, prompting gin comparisons as he said, maybe it's some sort of list management, you know, names and addresses. And Jeff replied, is that like what Jen Shaw does? After it was noted that Louis Digital Media Solutions was being investigated for potential violations of state laws, similar sentiments were echoed online. Is this Jen Shaw 2.0? The Bravo Chicks asked, along with a screenshot of an article about the investigation against Louis' business, which they credited to Blonde Hair Blackheart on Instagram. And if you see what it said, okay, this is literally what was said. New York Business Wire, okay? Glancy Progne and Murray LLP announces its investigation of Digital Media Solutions, Inc. concerning the company and its directors and officers possible violations of state laws. If you own Digital Media Solutions stock, would like to learn more about these claims or have any questions concerning this announcement or your rights or interests with respect to these matters, please contact Tom Kennedy, blah, blah, blah. And they gave all of the inquiry numbers. Now, in addition to featuring a press release from Business Wire with their post, the Bravo Chicks also included a snippet from Louis' website, which described Teresa's spouse as the co-founder and executive vice president of Business Development of Digital Solutions, Inc. Mm -mm -mm. While appearing on Watch What Happens Live in February, Louis was confronted about his career by Andy Cohen, and he said, I started a new company. It's in media, digital media, lead generation ad sales. Well, lead generation, isn't that what Jen Shaw is going to prison for? Andy asked, giving a nod to Jen's six and a half year prison term for wire fraud. And he said, no, it's a little bit different. Now, it could totally be different, guys. Right now, this is all speculation. We're not the judge, we're not the jury, and we're not the Southern District of New York. However, if there is something to be found, well, you put yourself on reality TV. So all of the skeletons will absolutely be coming out of the closet it's just a matter of time. And now, as you can see, if you're on Twitter, if you're going down the rabbit hole, you see where a ton of fans are like, Teresa, shortest love bubble ever. But we don't know. We don't know what's going to happen. This could be, I mean, I guess it could be a mistake. This could be a mishap. This could be a miscommunication. I don't know what it is, but it for damn sure is an investigation. 
That's what I know. But we're going to get into something maybe a little bit more lighthearted. Sorry, Louie and Teresa. Okay. So, Melissa Gorga is also addressing rumors that she's leaving the Real Housewives of New Jersey after her season 13 a reunion with the rest of her cast. She actually shut down the rumors that she will not be returning to the Real Housewives of New Jersey next season amid her feud with Teresa Judice. I've been reading a lot of things saying that I want to leave the show or I'm no longer going to be on the show. I just want everyone to know I'm not leaving the show. That's what she clarified on her On Display podcast on Thursday. She emphasized that she has no intentions on leaving the reality series, which she joined in 2011. Okay. I never run away when the going gets tough. That's not my personality. And she was referring to the drama with her sister-in-law, Teresa Judice, reaching an all-time low over the past year. Our family has been through ups and downs for so many years on this show, and I have never left before, and I have no intentions on leaving the show. Melissa Gorga also teased that the recently filmed Real Housewives of New Jersey season 13 reunion was rough, which we know that because we heard we heard Andy Cohen say that it was rough. We heard Andy Cohen say that he couldn't get a word in, that he actually flipped his shit on Teresa, but he didn't yell at her because we don't want to see Andy Cohen yell at the talent, but that she got up at one point and walked away, exited. She was screaming at her brother. Her brother and Melissa were screaming at her. There were receipts going everywhere. Even Rachel Fuda on Watch What Happens Live said that this was just an absolute shit show. That's what we have to look forward to. So get ready for that. She and her husband, Joe Gorga, came face to face with Judice and her husband, Louis Ruelas, at the taping for the first time since the Gorga skipped out on Judice's wedding in August 2022. Host Andy Cohen recently insinuated that the reunion only made the relationship between the two couples worse. The level of, I won't even say vitriol, I will say hate Teresa and Melissa have. It's, I mean, the gloves are off. I've never seen anything like it in the way that the two of them were going back and forth. Ay, ay, ay. He also admitted that at one point he got so annoyed with the sister-in-laws back and forth that he almost walked off the stage. There was a moment where I turned to Teresa. I apologized to her later. I didn't yell at her, but I think I lost my shit with her in a way that I haven't maybe ever. Prior to the reunion taping, Judice also stressed that she would never leave the show on which she is the only remaining original cast member. I would never step away. I started the show is what she told People Magazine in December of 2022. I'm never going to give that to anyone because I'm the one that started the show. Bravo has not announced any casting decisions for the upcoming 14th season, but we know, if I had to guess, they're both definitely going to be back. Guys, I don't want to just put this out there and not ask what you think, so go ahead and comment below. Let us know. Give us all of the opinions. And before you go, we have two things coming up. We have our interview with Sonia Richards-Ross from The Real Housewives of Atlanta dropping on Sunday at 12.30 p.m. Eastern, right before The Real Housewives of Atlanta premiere. And then, of course, we have our members-only Vanderpump Rules edition coming up this Monday at 7 p.m. Eastern. So get ready for all of that. We love you guys, and I hope you have the best, most beautiful weekend. Bye. Well, bye now. <laughs>